Hey guys, so right now I'm out with my husband and we're just running errands, but I posted on my, I think it was my Facebook that I wanted to start rocking my natural hair. And so I decided today is the day. Today is the day that I am going to start really, really wearing my hair curly. So I am going curl product shopping and I'm going to go get some real like curly hair products. Before when I would try to um, wear my hair curly, I don't think I was really using the right products. Um, I had curls, but as far as it like holding and like definition and it would get frizzy and things like that. And so I think that's kind of what made me like decide like I really am not feeling this. I know it takes like time. I know it takes a, like a journey basically is what people tell, tell me. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm about to go to Target. Look at all this product. What am I gonna get? And then I kind of thought about this. No pool, no problem. Refresh, revive, and rejuvenate two-day curls with pure, uh, I don't know about that. So she's gonna go with Jane. <laughs> she, I think it's Mealy, Mayel, or I however you say that. I think I'm gonna try these two together because I already have a hair oil and I don't think I'm gonna get a shampoo today because ain't nobody got that type of money, so. But we're just starting off, you know? So we gotta see how it works. If I don't like it, I'm gonna take it back. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing nothing. I'm about to get sidetracked. Hey, let's go. Target, yeah. see, they purposely do this to the beauty aisle because everything is so bright. You know, right now it's kind of rainy outside. Doesn't it make you happy? How do you feel? Like I wanna go home. <laughs> oh, I need to look at one more thing. Go ahead. Okay. Who are these people? She got a bonnet, y'all. Why you in public with a bonnet? Didn't your mama tell you don't go out in public with no bonnet on? Why is you in Target with a bonnet? I wonder if Walmart has that. Because I have a gift card from Walmart, and I'd rather use the gift card. Huh? Can we go to Walmart? No. Nope. Please, it's right across the street. Nope, it's not right across the street. Can we? Are you being for real? If we get out of here, all right, 10 seconds. Okay. So I forgot to vlog when we went to Walmart, but I'm on my way home and we're just gonna do this thing, you know? So I'm excited. I'm really excited. All right guys, I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel. Let, let you know how it comes out. So see you in a little bit. I actually like, kind of like it. Like I actually really like it. I never really thought I would actually like my hair naturally curly. It's cute on everybody else, but on um, me, I never liked it. So to actually like it and think it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> okay. And I decided to call this little curl journey, curl talk. So we're gonna be talking about curls. I'm gonna be showing you guys different products and my curl routine. And I thought curl talk was gonna be kind of cute, so. You know, glam tan, gotta be cute with it. Really quickly, I'm just gonna be talking to you guys about like why I decided to go natural or no heat um, and what products I actually decided to use and how I feel about them. And I did my hair like five hours ago or so. I did the shingling method, which I kind of feel like took too long. I did a lot of research when it came to how to style natural hair. And I saw a lot of people do the shingling method, which is basically like taking little itty bitty curls and like i don't know like stretching them or i don't know it, it, it was a lot it was a lot but it came out really well and i really want to know the difference between if i would have just put the product on and let it dry i did use the diffuser because it was literally taking forever like i really felt like jesus was about to come back because it was taking forever for my hair to dry it took like five hours and my hair was still really wet and i kind of feel like it's because i used too much product it probably is because I use so much product, but I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing this and I'm just learning as I go, learning what to do with different products on my hair because everyone's hair is different. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. But like I said, yeah, I did use the diffuser and that helped bunches. I don't know if I would have kept letting it air dry, if it would have dried like a little less frizzy i don't know but i kind of like the frizz also i did notice i have like straight pieces like right here you guys can probably see it let me get a little closer like 
right here and not that one that was a cute little curl but this corner and this corner of my hair is straight like it has a little bit of curl and like the end is straight it's probably like an inch and a half of straight pieces and so I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that I know I need to cut it but I don't know I think I'm just gonna wait until it grows out a little more curly and then cut it like you can see also right, right there it's kind of straight so maybe like one day I'm just gonna like take it and just cut it because it's like only an inch I'm, I feel like I'm tripping I probably am tripping but I mean like at the end of the day who gonna check me really quick let me talk to you guys about why I went natural and why I decided to finally start wearing my curls and I really say going natural even though just a little background I've been natural since like 2013 so actually going on five years I have been natural I went natural so that I can have color because when I was relaxed and when I was perming my hair I was literally perming my hair every six weeks and then Six weeks later, I was doing color. Eventually, yes, my hair did fall out and it fell out at the top of my head. I had like a little mullet because it was like pieces like that long and my bang was like that long and then back here it was like hang time. So I knew why it eventually fell out and I wasn't really tripping because I was like, okay, maybe I really will go natural. So I didn't do the big chop. I just wore sew-ins and then I just gradually kept trimming my hair every time I would take the sew-in out trim it put the sewing back in and i did that for maybe like three four months or so and then eventually my perm grew out 2014 is when i actually cut my hair into a bob and i did that for like 2018 so i cut my hair in 2014. wow time is flying whoa ever since 2013 i have been straightening my hair I was very used to straightening my hair. It just became like a natural habit to me. And so I was just like, whatever, I had to straighten my hair, whatever. I was doing that probably, if not once a week, twice a week. The fact that I have this much of a curl pattern and I've been straightening my hair for like four years straight, at least once a week, then y'all know there is a God who still has given me grace and mercy to have a curl pattern. Come on somebody. So one of the reasons why I decided to go no heat was because I eventually am over having to shampoo, blow dry, and straighten my hair all the time. Also, I have been in the gym like consistently like four days a week. And not only that, but I've been doing more cardio. And of course, more cardio equals more sweat. More sweat equals a hot mess around your edges. And also I live in Georgia and everybody knows Georgia in the summertime like it gets hot and the humidity is ridiculous and so I don't have time to straighten my hair and go outside and my hair poof up like as soon as I step outside. So yeah that's just a little bit of background as to where I've come from as far as my natural hair and why I decided to actually go full on natural with no heat on my hair. And I know it takes time, I know I have a lot to learn, I know natural hair isn't easy um, but I feel like, you know, if a lot of people can do it, then I can do it too. So moving on to products that I use. And of course, you guys seen the vlog um, at the beginning of this video. So the first product that I picked up was this OGX Quenching Coconut Curls Conditioner. And I actually researched this on YouTube and I saw a lot of people using this. So this conditioner, I loved it. And I put it on my hair and as soon as I put it on, like my fingers were able to like slip through my hair and slip through my curls and I just detangled with this on it and it made it really easy and it is sulfate free too. For my leave-in I use this Shea Moisture Miracle Leave-In Treatment and I actually use this whenever I was straightening my hair. So the key ingredients to this is a sugarcane extract the metal foam seed oil and the marshmallow root. When I was using this whenever I was straightening my hair, it left it really lightweight and it was super silky. And I'm pretty sure it's okay to use with curly hair because it's a leave-in conditioner. And I did pick up, like you guys saw in the vlog, the My L Organics Moisturizing Avocado Hair Milk. And y'all, I mean, I just had to start somewhere. So I looked at my DNA and I looked at my family background. I kind of went with what my family uses, like, Cause I figured we kind of have the same kind of texture and the same type of curl pattern. And so I've kind of just figured what they use would work on my hair. And I know that's not correct. I know 
everyone in the everyone has to use something different i know you can't use what someone else has used and and expect for that to look the same and feel the same on your hair but like i said i had to start somewhere and so i said you know what let me just start with something if i don't like it then i know i can move on to the next and also i heard really good things about the jane carter um incredible curls cream i really found that this defined my curls really well the fact that i got this type of definition with this product is a miracle i know smell is a big thing whenever it comes to products like you don't want to walk around with something that stank but this doesn't really have a smell if anything it smells like really light but i actually really like this product now as far as the hold do these two things help your curls to hold and how long is my hair gonna last I'm not sure, but we will see how this works right now. Like I said, I really like it. I think it came out really great. Um, my hair feels really soft. There's no crunch to it or anything. I'm going to continue to do this routine and see how I like it and also try different techniques with it. Yes, I am going to do a curl routine for you guys. And also, I am just curious as to what do you guys think? Like, how do you feel about my curly hair? Like, what kind of products do you guys love? Like, what's y'all's holy grail, like OG, like your your favorite of the faves type product? I would love to hear from you guys. I'm excited about this new segment on my channel. We're going to be doing like updates and product reviews and curl routines, braid outs and twist outs and all that kind of fun, curly, girly stuff. Thank you for watching. If you like this, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I will talk to you guys later in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>